hope you enjoyed that little montage of me getting ready. Go me. It's on back camera now, it was on front camera for the makeup bit, so I'm sorry about that. I had to use it kind of as a mirror because I don't, well I have a mirror here, but yeah. Currently 10 to 3 on Monday the 3rd of January and I'm just starting this vlog for the week. <laughs> Thought we could do a little blood sugar check in because apparently I think that's fun. What we're at. I'll let you see first. Three point nine. So that's probably going low. Um. So I'll get something before I leave. These fucking things are so hard to get off hardwood floor. Right. So thing explaining what my plans are for this week. It's pretty much going to be the same as last week, which I know that was a really boring vlog, but that's pretty much what my life consists of and I think it's nice for me to look back on maybe when I'm better, so then I can be like, oh my god, I struggled but I got through it. SHUT UP! Ignore my greasy hair in that last clip, that's why we put a hat on, we couldn't be bothered to wash it. Oh. Right, excuse the messy background, but we're working with what we've got. I'm gonna do a little outfit of the day. So, hat from CP Company, jumper from Adidas, um, body warmer from North Face, but I got off Depop, uh, leggings from Gymshark. my iPad needs updating to iOS 15 so iMovie won't download basically um, and I also realised that I don't actually have an intro on my channel nobody knows anything about me don't even know how to say my name it's mainly just for me to be honest to look back on what I've been doing and like symptoms and whatnot so yeah also, I really apologise for the change in like camera quality all the time. It's because I switched from using my front camera and my back camera. But when I'm back at the flat in Manchester, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna try out my actual camera um, as like a vlogging camera. So hopefully that will be like more consistent. So I apologise about that. Excuse the appearance. I've just got out of the bath. I actually washed my hair, so you don't have to see that disgusting grease. Greasy head tomorrow when I get ready. Um, although it probably will be greasier by the time I get ready tomorrow. <laughs> Thought my iPad was updating, but it's actually, hey. I only just started updating, so when it's finished, then I'll start editing my vlog again. God, I can't get my words out, wow. And now I forgot what I was gonna say. I'll let you know when I remember something, I don't know. I've been waiting here, here. I've been waiting here for like 10 minutes. Waiting for the footage to download up from my cloud. And that tiny little bar has not moved. I'm not even joking. Few inches later. Two hours later. It's downloading 29 minutes of footage, 43 different video clips. This is going to take a while. One eternity later. Okay, so I've uploaded my video, that's all done, um, so if you haven't watched last week's video, 
go watch it if you want you know after i'm feeling really tired i'm just gonna put my watch back on for the night um i'm gonna put my hair oil in check my blood sugar So I'm using the Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil if you're wondering. I just literally do like a couple of drops because my hair like gets really greasy easily so I don't want to put loads in. I only put it through the ends as well, I don't know if you're supposed to put it anywhere else but I only put it through the ends. It smells so nice as well, very tiny quite expensive but I, bought, I actually bought it off um you knew like i'm sure if everybody's on tiktok like people are doing like that tiktok shop um i actually bought it off that and i didn't know if it was going to be a scam or not but it, it's not and i bought the this like other set with like the shampoo conditioner this bonding treatment and then something else but, yeah so if you've been thinking about ordering something and you're too scared because you don't think it's going to come, um, it does. And I also um, got Clinique Cleansing Balm as well, that was a really good deal too. I'll do the other finger, so there. Ooh, that one hurt a little bit, not going to lie. 3.9, so I'm going to go have like an ice oil or something because my mouth's pretty dry anyway so I think an ice oil would be really nice um I show you my dog <laughs> she's called Bella in case you wonder very cute, don't you? Yeah, I'm just gonna go to bed after that, so I'll see you tomorrow. So it's currently half past two. I've woke Bella up on accident. I've just been throwing up this whole time. So I'm gonna go downstairs and get an ice ollie because the water's just not staying down. The ice ollie won't stay down either, but I'm I'm like really warm and like flustered. Like my cheeks are really like rosy. Um so I'm gonna hope that an ice ollie makes me like cool down and then I might have to open the window if not. I've already started opening the blinds, so yeah. Sorry, this lighting's really poor. I'm literally out of breath from walking downstairs. Also have like a can of these, which you're not really supposed to do because it's carbonated, um, like it's fizzy. But I just needed something a bit different other than water. And I'm not gonna show you because it's disgusting, but this is a hospital sick bowl. And it's currently up to here. Nasty. You little nasty. <laughs> nasty. From one packet of crisps and three quarters of a can of water. So that's great. So I'm gonna do a. Uh, Blood sugar check in. I do think they're fine because I'll still have some of the crisps in my system, I hope. Um, I've only got four test strips left, so I need to refill on that also. 
I'm sorry, I'm using the front camera as well because the back camera would look definitely look awful because I need to put the lash on. So sorry about that. So we're at 3.9, so after I have to have had these eye sullies. That should be fine. Also, my pajamas are so cute. They're from Primark by the way. It's awesome. So I'm gonna open this window, which is why I opened the blinds before. Um yeah, not my favourite because I'm not a big fan of orange flavoured things. Um which it's kind of annoying because orange flavoured things get your blood sugar up quite quickly. Um, but this is the only ice lolly we have. Because I've eaten all the other ones. And then also a twist lolly. Definitely not supposed to have these because they've got milk in them. But no regrets. Maybe I'll regret it in like 20 minutes. But my taste buds are. Mm. <laughs> the flavors are melting on my tongue. <laughs> I've not had anything like creamy tasting in such a long time because it's all milk. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I just finished watching Money Heist. If you've not watched it, definitely watch it. It's so good. Uh, I'm not going to give any spoilers because I'm not that kind of person. I'll probably check back in the morning. I'll probably check back again because I'll likely I'll do is I'll eat these high solids, watch YouTube, be sick, be so exhausted from being sick. I hope I just fall asleep, but then again, we could be up all night, so yeah. It's currently 3am and I'm really regretting the high solids. Because they bring up so much acid reflux and my throat is on fire and my chest hurts. So, get me? I mean, I did bring it on myself because I knew that was going to happen. I was also so dehydrated, but now I've just made myself more dehydrated by doing that because I'm still being sick. I'm laughing, but I'm actually dying inside. <laughs> it's currently 20 to 3 and I'm still in bed I've also just got my sense of that I need to change my Libra so we're gonna do that today he needs some milk a little bit more presentable and um, I'm filming on my iPad so that's why it's a little bit like zoomed in um, but I'm gonna do a little blood sugar check-in and then we're gonna change my Libra because it needs changing Um that's why I'm filming on my iPad because I need my phone to change it but I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it all good in the hood 4.8, more good. Okay, now we're gonna change the Libra. Okay, so we're gonna be changing the Libra today. Um, it does show you how to do it on the instructions, but I just thought I'd do a quick video because it doesn't take long at all. And Morning. 
well, I should say afternoon. It's five to one. And I didn't get to sleep well about five o'clock this morning, that's why. So, all, all this week I've been so nervous for Wednesday because today is the day that I've got my very, very big appointment. I'm really nervous about it because I just waited so long for this. I'm trying to stay positive and not send myself into a, like an anxious wormhole. But I am very anxious about it. Um, it's at five past two. I also just realised that um, I didn't actually tell you what I'm, what, who I'm going to see, I don't think. So I'm going to see my gastroenterologist specialist. Um, but the last time I spoke to him were like end of October, early November. And obviously a lot has happened since then. And it's so important because I'm hopefully going to be able to like book tests in to get a diagnosis or sort medication out and just do something to progress. Disgusting! Okay, so I'm back. It's 23 minutes past five. So, basically, <clears throat> she said that I've got something called intestinal delayed motility. Well, she was a little bit patronising, but also kind of nice, so you can't, can't really judge her that much. But she were a little bit patronising. A course of action basically. I'm gonna try some noradriptyline 20 milligrams um, just to begin and then we're gonna up it as we go along because that's kind of worked for me in the past regarding pain and then for like the vomiting and um, the actual motility part of it I'm gonna do domperidone syrup so then I can at least get some down. Hopefully this will work better than tablets, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Like, a lot was said, but not very much was said all at the same time in this appointment because she was kind of just talking about my life and, like, I think she was kind of trying to see if I was, like, stressed and stuff. Um, But, yeah, she was a little bit patronising, to be honest. I've never had her before as a doctor. But... At least I've got something and I know what it is so it's definitely a plus and she said that I'm not gonna have it forever but then when I've looked online you do have it forever hi okay yeah I think you can manage it basically and it can like come and go but definitely a positive in my book a couple of things wound me up in the conversation, um, but not really much I can do about it, to be honest. One thing that did wind me up is that they've kind of known that this is what I've had from when I had my endoscopy in like 2020, early 2020. Yeah, because I said when I had the endoscopy, I still had food in my stomach. So that's how they were able to tell that there was a delay in my stomach emptying and why they didn't tell me that from the beginning so then they could have put me on a course of treatment since then and maybe I wouldn't have been as bad as I've been these past couple of weeks, I don't know. And then another thing that also pissed me off was she said if she didn't give me any treatment right now then it'd just get better in a couple of months. <laughs> uh. I just want, that is a, the biggest load of bollocks ever because I've had this since 2019 and I don't know why she thinks that because she said it's going to be gone in a few months 
it's going to be gone. Like she said, by the time I finish my degree, which is June, that I shouldn't have any issues. Oh my God! Wow! I'll be singing appraisers to everybody, but that's just highly unlikely when I've been dealing with this since 2019. And she's not like got any tests or anything. Or she was saying like, low mood actually makes the stomach worse so you're you're delaying the stomach will be worse if you've got a lower mood which i know what she's trying to say like if you stress your stomach is going to react to it like whatever and then she's like so so maybe just try not to be in a low mood This is something I've been dealing with since 2019. It's taken so many things away from me. And you want to tell me not to have a low mood and that you're going to fix it in a, like, what, a few months? Five months. But outlook on the situation is, I know what it is. We've got some medication for it and we move on from there. I'm going to speak to Georgina, which is my dietitian on the 18th. And I love Georgina, she's so nice. Um, and see what she says diet wise. But yeah. Oh, and another thing that wound me up. Actually really pissed me off to be honest, not more than wound me up. She said, she said, oh, well, they weighed me when I first went in. And she said, oh, we've noticed you have lost a lot of weight, but you're still in a healthy BMI for your height. Like, you're still in a healthy weight for your height. And I was just like, are we still going off that? Like, this is why I don't like the NHS system when it comes to weight and stuff. Because, yeah, I can be in a healthy weight. But my body is so fatigued because I've lost that weight so quickly. And it's like, if I've lost, like, I've lost a stone in just, like, a couple of days over a month. Um, and I don't talk to my doctor again for four weeks. And if this medication don't work, will I lose more? And then what will I do? Because I was, I, technically, I'd still be in a healthy weight then, but I'd still be losing it. They, sometimes it just sounds like they don't care unless you're literally dying. And they don't want to, like, solve it before you die. But that did really piss me off. But we've got a di- well, we've, I don't know if it's an official diagnosis, but I'm gonna say it is. So we've got a diagnosis, we've got medication, and let's just cross all those fingers that it works. Morning lads. We're gonna go take my mum to this appointment that she's got, and then, um, Alex wants five guys and I might get like a tango ice blast or something. Pat CP, top, Columbia, jacket, Jack Wilch, leggings, gym shirt, I've got to have on pretty much every single day. Shoes, like, fashion, Easter. Is this us already in shops? What the fuck? <laughs> Making them super noodles. Another food that I'm not supposed to have. It's becoming a recurring theme, but anyway. Also, if you make your soup noodles in the microwave, you're a wrong'un. You're an absolute wrong'un.
Okay, I'm back in my usual spot, sat on the end of my bed. I like sitting here because the radiator is here, so then it warms my legs up like. Yeah. Doesn't, just in case you wonder why I always sit here. Got my little soup noodles. And I like eating my chopsticks, all right? And what? I find it fun and it brings me joy. So. Fuck, that's gonna burn my mouth off. Mm -mm. I just decided to stop recording. That's great. Um, I was gonna say, do you prefer your soupy noodles like sticky or soupy? That's the question. It really depends on my mood. Today I wanted them like just a little bit in between. I feel like this vlog's been really boring again. I've done a little bit more than I did the other day. Oh wow, my hair's so greasy. I nearly washed it the other day. Um, but yeah i have got two fake as well fuck <laughs> yeah i feel like it's been a bit boring but it's because i'm not back in manchester and there's not really much for me to do here so hopefully when i'm back in manchester which we're going back on sunday so i should should be a bit more insane maybe i don't know probably won't because i actually don't do much with my life anyway but I don't even know how to put into words, like, what I'm feeling right now. <sighs> Basically, I applied for exceptional factors through my university so then I could get an extra two weeks to run out my dissertation because I'd been poorly. And um, they declined it and told me I had to get a sick note. So I got a sick note from my doctor. And now they've said that I, I, I can't do the assessment, like that's it. I need to wait till next year to reset. But the thing is, I finished my degree in, Jan in June, so, and it's my dissertation. All I wanted, literally all I wanted, were an extra two weeks. And then they were the ones that said to get a sick note for longer. I'm honestly baffled, I don't even know what to do. Hello, so I've just been and had my nails done. Um, I have just been to the shop, so I'm gonna try these sweets. These are Airhead Extreme Bites. Oh, they're really tiny. They're not sour at all. What? Oh, not supposed to be sour. Stupidly sour. I'll just um, ask she was just telling me like all sour sweets that people buy and she said that pe people probably love these and they're only one left so I thought I might as well try them. Oh, they're right, oh. The outside's sour and then you bite inside and it's not sour. They are a little bit sour, but not loads. But I would say I've got a quite a high sourness threshold because I love sour sweets. And I'm eating all the stuff that I'm not supposed to eat because it's 
starting my diet on Monday um, when I'm back in Manchester. It's not really a diet, but I'm not going to eat refined sugars like these because she told me not to eat them. Um, not eat, really eating meat. All the stuff that makes me really poorly like this, I'm not going to eat. I could have proper fancied some sour sweets. So that's what I wanted. So that's what I got. Afternoon everybody, afternoon everybody, well, round them up, no watch on till, see what the time is, three minutes past two in the afternoon, also I had my eyebrows on yesterday and I feel so much better for it because I don't have to do anything with my eyebrows when I wake up, yay, Um, I'm gonna get a shower, get dressed, I'm going to try and choose something else to wear other than those same pair of leggings and same t-shirt that I've been wearing for the past week. Oh, hell no! Probably will just end up wearing the leggings because I can't bother. Um, why is it that every time I start fucking filming, Bella starts barking? Um, <coughs> <coughs> so I've got my outfit on. Pretty much the same as what I was wearing the other day, just different colours. So, gym shark leggings. Oh, look at all that mess. Mm. It's okay, we're leaving tomorrow, so it's all gonna be gone. So, Columbia top. I don't know if you can see the back, but yeah. Uh, gym shark leggings. Then I've got this jumper to go over the top from Depop. Well, let's come outside because too much noise going on inside, and I'm sorry if you can hear it in the background. But um, I'm not really filming much because we've literally just been packing all my room up to go back to Manchester. If I get copyrighted for this song, fucking shit song anyway. Uh, ye yeah. Right, so basically finished. I've just got to put my Christmas presents to like all, everything I got for Christmas away and then like sort two bags out. But I'm just going to do it tomorrow because I'm absolutely knackered and I'm hungry. And I think we're going to, it's only half seven, so we've done, we've done everything in pretty good time. Like, other than that's all rubbish. So that's pretty much tidy. A couple of bags everywhere, but. Pretty much tidy. Just coming to quickly end this vlog. It's probably been pretty boring. I don't know. I'm going to edit it tomorrow and upload it tomorrow, but hope it's been somewhat entertaining and. I don't know when my next vlog, will, vlog is going to be because I'm not really doing much this week so I'm not going to vlog um, but I'm going to have some videos out and yeah if you enjoyed the style or if you enjoyed looking at me or if you enjoyed 
anything about this video then please feel free to subscribe and if you don't want to you don't have to but yeah i'll see you in my next video bye